Okay, so I'm going to show you how to create, um, add Autocrat to um, the Tardy Log response Google Sheet so that it automatically sends your students a notification, a letter, whenever they fill out the Tardy Log. So let's get started, okay? So this is the presentation that I'm doing. And if I click right here, I'll get the template for the Tardy Log. So it's going to force me to make a copy and I'm going to go ahead and open that up because we're going to create this autocrat from that. Um, if you get this message, I don't know why I keep getting this message, but if you get that message, just go ahead and click restore. Okay. So in order to do the tardy log, I need to create a spreadsheet, a Google spreadsheet from this Google form. So I'm going to go ahead and click the response section. I'm going to click the plus sign. And I'm going to go ahead and create that Google spreadsheet. Once I have that spreadsheet created, I'm going to go up here to extensions and click on the drop down. Now I already have Autocrat installed um, from the Google Chrome store, but if you do not, go ahead and click on add ons and then go to get add ons and you can add it. For sake of time, I'm going to go ahead and click the one I have. I hover over it and I can launch it. So once I launch it, it gives me a template to work with. This template's pretty basic and I love, love, love that. So it's going to be a new job. I'm going to give the job a name and I'm just going to call it Digital Tardy Log. That sounds good. And then I'm going to click the blue next. Now the next step two is asking me for that template that we talked about. I'm going to show you what that template looks like because I thought I had it here. No, nope, I don't. Oh, there it is. Okay, so this is what the template looks like. Basically, anything that is in red will turn red for the students also, but anything that's in brackets is going to be something that I can manipulate with the autocrat so that that information fills in itself. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Okay, excuse me, I'm on the wrong page. Um, so that, I'm going to go to my drive because that was, is where that template is. And I'm going to look for that template. There it is. I'm going to click on that template and then I'm going to hit the blue select button. Excuse me. Okay, once I've done that, it should populate right here. So I'm going to go ahead once I see that and click the next button. Now this is the very important part. Right now it's telling you that I have two unmapped tags. These tags must be mapped so that the information fills in automatically on the certificate that the students will get. So I'm gonna look through, I'm gonna go through here and by mapped it means that this tag right here needs to map this answer right here. So student first, first name should match student first name there. Student last name should match student last name. This one tells me that the tag is missing. So basically, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna click on this drop down menu and I'm gonna match what it says there. That tag should disappear. Class period should match class period. Reason for tardy is my other tag that's missing. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna click on it. It should disappear. I'm gonna go ahead, if that's all my map source data, I'm gonna go ahead and click next. I'm gonna give the file a name. This is the name that will appear on the certificate in your Google Drive. I usually just add the student's last name. So if I click here and click in this space, I can paste and it'll match student last name. Okay, so all the certificates will populate in my drive, a copy of the certificates, under the student's last name. Um, the type, I, I made it from a Google Doc, so I'm gonna go ahead and go with that. And then I'm going to leave it as a multiple output mode. So I'm gonna click next. Um, it's gonna go into my drive. I can create a specialized folder for that and then have it go into that folder. Or I can just let it go into my drive for uh, the sake of time, I'm gonna go ahead and let it go into my drive and click the blue next. Number six is optional, I don't have to do that, so I'm gonna go ahead and click next. 
Number seven is also optional, so I'm gonna go ahead and click next. And then number eight is not optional, so I am going to definitely share this doc with the student. I'm not gonna make it editable, it's going to be a PDF, okay? Um, I'm going to not allow collaborators to reshare. And then right here is where it's very important that you match what it says on this sheet so that you the email will actually be sent to the student. So I'm gonna click right here and what we're gonna copy to is the email address. This form automatically collects email addresses so the students don't even have to put that in. So I am going to go into my little blue window and I'm gonna click email address and then I'm going to paste it into this space. So that way it will send this certificate to the student's email address. I can also type in a message. Um, you have received a tardy today. And that's the message that will appear in the email when the student gets their certificate. I'm gonna go ahead and click next. I'm going to have this run on a trigger. What does that mean? That means that anytime someone fills out this Google form, they are automatically going to get that certificate. I don't have to go back at the end of the day and run all the certificates. It's just gonna run every time the form is filled out. And then um, run on a time trigger, that would be if I wanted to go back on the, in the, at the end of the day and just run them all. But I would rather have them run whenever the form is filled out. So at this point, I'm done, and I'm gonna go ahead and click Save. So now I'm going to test it out, okay? I am going to close this window, but I'm gonna to go to the copy of the tardy log that I made, and I'm gonna to go to questions and preview, and I'm gonna fill it out. Now, I'm not gonna, um, it'll automatically collect the email I'm working in, so I don't have to worry about it. So I'm gonna put my last name as the last name, my first name as the first name, my student ID number, I'm making one up because I don't have one. And then, of course, you can just put your grade, but if you have several grades of students, then in the class period. And then I make the students put a reason why they're tardy to my class. So if they um, had an emergency bathroom, then I might um, show some forgiveness for that. But if not, then I'm gonna go ahead and make give them a tardy. Um, if they have a pass, I'm gonna let them go ahead and take a picture of it and upload it here. That way, they'll have per, uh, validation why they're tar tardy, and then I can see that later in the Google form. So I'm gonna go ahead and submit. When I submit that, let's go back to our sheet, all the information starts to populate. So it should do a blue merge, and if it does not, there you go, um, that will show me that the document was successfully created and if I look at my email, which unfortunately I don't have it up right now, I should get a copy of this in my email. And basically all this stuff is going to be filled out. I put a link to my tardy policy at our school, um, but you can change that link out and make it your tardy policy. Um, it tells the date and the time that the students was tardy, so there'll be no dispute there. My name, my, all my information, and the explanation I came up with. So that's basically it. Um, if you have any questions, of course, you know you can email me or ask me during this session.